Ladies and gentlemen, as of today, I'm officially under new management. <laughs> Firstly, on behalf of my wife and I, I want to thank each and every one of you for making an effort to be here today. I didn't have much to do with planning the wedding, but when Louisa asked me the question of where I wanted to get married, I simply replied with, in the country. By in the country, I meant in Australia. <laughs> Not necessarily the middle of nowhere, but here we are. <laughs> they say that some moments in life are made so much more special when surrounded by family and friends. And with that, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for travelling so far to be here today. A special mention must go to the Stammel family, particularly our two MCs from travelling all the way out from Sydney, as well as my godparents from far north Queensland. I'd like to also take this opportunity to thank those who have had a special involvement in making today as memorable as it has been. To our singer Hope for singing so beautifully at the chapel earlier. Woo! To Bass and the band who will be in full swing later on. Our readers, our MCs and those not mentioned by name, thank you all for your special contributions. Now, I'd like to take you all back to the beginning of our love story. If you listen to Ellen's version, the story goes something like this. Trent came along. Trent took our daughter off the streets. <laughs> he was quiet, he was responsible, and he preferred to get up at 4.30 a.m. rather than requesting to be picked up from the valley at this time. We liked him. Brett gave him blueberries and watermelon. <laughs> and from that day, he stayed around. That, however, is not the version I want to share with you today. This is the story of our first date. It was the 18th of November, 2012. I'd arranged to pick Louisa up from her house at Chapel Hill and take her to dinner. As I was driving to Louisa's house, a hailstorm hit. And I thought to myself, this isn't a good sign of things to come. Nevertheless, there were no turn-offs on the freeway, so I had no choice but to continue. <laughs> I arrived at the house. I drove down the driveway and knocked on the front door. The door opened, and I wasn't greeted by Louisa. I wasn't greeted by Brett, Ellen, or even Nicola. No, I was greeted by a man who had biceps bigger than his legs, and I thought to myself, why do they need a security guard? <laughs> Is Chapel Hill really that dangerous? <laughs> the security guard introduced himself. He said his name was Ryan, and I continued. Louisa and I made it to dinner, the skies cleared, and it became what would be known as my last first date. The day that life as I knew it would change forever. Ever since that day five and a half years ago, Brett, Alan, Nicola and Ryan have always made me feel especially welcome. To Brett and Ellen, I want to say thank you for everything you have done, not only in the lead up to today, but for everything. I want to thank you for firstly raising the girl of my dreams, my beautiful wife, and moulding her into the amazing, generous, selfless and loyal person she is today. I also want to thank you for opening your hearts, your kitchen and your home to me from the beginning. You have never made me feel as though I was not welcome or that I didn't belong. I want to thank you for welcoming me into your family and accepting me for me and thank you for helping Louisa and I be in the position we are today. Brett, you may have given Louisa away today, but when we eventually move out, I guarantee you we will continue coming back for family dinners on a regular occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> we are very lucky to have you in our lives, and we both love you very much. To the two people who have shaped me into the man I am today, Mum and Dad, I want to thank you for all that you have ever done for me growing up, and all that you continue to do for me to this day. Growing up, you taught me so many valuable lessons, not through words, but through your actions. You taught me the true importance and, fit and value of family. I look back on my childhood and reflect on all the sacrifices you have made to give me and my brothers the opportunities we have had. We may have not had the biggest or trendiest things, but we always had each other, the most valuable gift of all. Family is the most precious thing in life. 
The lessons you taught me are lessons that will remain with me for the rest of my days. The sacrifices you have given me have, made me, have allowed me to be in the position I am today. I know that no matter where I go, I will always know where I came from. And I cannot thank you enough for all that you have ever done for me, and more recently, for us. Louisa and I both love you very much. To my three brothers and my newest brother today, thank you for being my best friends, and thank you for always having my back. I know that no matter where our lives take us, we will always have a bond that will never be broken. There's nobody else I'd rather have standing next to me today. You guys are my best friends, and I'm honoured to be your brother. To the four beautiful bridesmaids, thank you for supporting my bride, not only today, but for all the years that you have known her. Thank you for taking her shopping so that I don't have to. <laughs> thank you for supporting her, thank you for encouraging her, and thank you for accepting me. Nicola, thank you for being the fe female version of Thank you for being the female version of me. Your personality gave me confidence that a person like me could survive in a Greek household. <laughs> I want to say that plum is a colour that suits you all because you all look absolutely stunning here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a drink, so please join me in toasting the bridesmaids. To the bridesmaids. <laughs> and finally, Last, but my no, by no means least, I want to talk about the person and the reason why we are here today. Trent. <laughs> There's a comma, just wait. Trent is extremely lucky to have found the love of his life, Louisa. <laughs> to my beautiful bride, my little birdie, Louisa Jones. You look absolutely amazing. I've never seen somebody look so beautiful as what you have today. As I saw you walking down the aisle, I was reminded of just how far we have come over the last five and a half years. You have been and will continue to be an incredible part of my life. You have given me some of my most memorable moments, from our overseas holidays to the purchase of our first house together. With you is a beautiful place to be. Ladies and gentlemen, when you realise you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible, which is probably why I asked Louisa out on the first date. Louisa, early on in the relationship, I told you I would marry you someday. And although I made you wait 2,002 days for that day to come, I am so honoured to be able to stand here beside you today and I'm so privileged to be, to be able to call you my wife. You have grown into a compassionate, understanding, generous and genuine person. You light up the room whenever you walk into it and you have lit up my life from the moment you have entered it. They say to love someone deeply gives you strength, but being loved by someone deeply gives you courage. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never felt as strong nor as courageous as what I feel in this moment. And that is thanks to only one person, my life, my wife, Louisa. Louisa, I adore you, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the person you are and I'm proud of the person you are becoming. I'm also proud of the person I am when I am with you. I don't need the world to love me, I just need that one person and I'm so glad that person is you. I don't want to be something to everyone, I just want to be everything to you. Louisa, you know that I love you. I'm so proud to be your husband. You are my today and you will forever be my tomorrow. My heart is and always will be yours. My heart is ever at your service. So ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, please stand and charge your glasses and join me in toasting my beautiful bride. The love of my life, Louisa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>